Lately, I've been obsessed with watching these fridge organization videos. Something about them is just so satisfying. Everything is organized, color coordinated. There's rows of the perfectly lined up produce already cleaned. So today, I'm gonna attempt to do that to my fridge. And number one, I wanna know how long it's gonna take me because I have a feeling it's gonna take me forever. And number two, how long it's gonna last. I really hope that it'll last at least a day. First things first, we're gonna set the timer because I'm hoping it'll only be about an hour. Why are there kales just like hanging out like this? this is another example where things just kind of get lost in the nooks and crannies. Things like this where I meant to use just gets kind of lost in fridge doom. This one's gonna have to get trashed. What is this? How old is this? Still good. Okay, so I'm organizing everything kind of by categories. These are just our leftovers, which I figure we should probably finish. I'm gonna do dairy, produce, way too many cheeses in this house, I don't know why. So I just emptied most of these shelves. These shelves are almost done. There's a lot of condiments that I actually have to go through and just look at the expiration dates and also determine if I even still need them. I'm gonna need a step stool to get on top right there. I removed everything, took all the side panels off. Why is there an onion peel in here? Ew, look how gross this looks. It was overdue. And then instead of washing it by hand, I just threw it into the dishwasher. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Don't look. <laughs> just when I thought it couldn't get any worse though, stuff fell back here too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, ew. Oh my gosh, how long is, ew, okay. So empty. Yeah, does it look clean? You forgot to clean that. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it now. No! I couldn't figure out how to take these drawers out, so I used my vacuum to clean it up. So I purged everything, got a good look at what I have. Now is a good time to thank the sponsor of today's video, Kroger, for helping me restock my fridge. So while I clean and organize everything, I'm gonna get onto my Ralph's app and order some groceries that we need that I don't have, like milk and eggs and the essentials, to really restock this fridge in an aesthetic way. I'm looking through the weekly deals and I found some savings on essentials like eggs. Nate wanted me to get sour cream, getting some other things like berries. And with the Kroger app, by the time I'm finished with cleaning everything, the groceries will be right at my door. The groceries are here. So download the app today and make your life a little bit easier. So since I don't like to clean with a lot of sprays in the fridge, just cause like food goes in there and everything, I'm making a dishwashing liquid and vinegar solution. And then I'm just gonna go in with this cleaning pad to scrub a dub dub everything all out. We are 30 minutes in. I don't think I'm gonna make an hour, but that's okay. I like using this coarse cleaning pad though, because I feel like it helps me scrub everything. We could probably just take these out and wash it though in the sink. You should get in on the action too. It's amazing how even the doors get so dirty. Is this therapeutic? Hmm, I don't know. Is this oddly satisfying? I also don't know. This drawer right here is gonna need a good soak for a little bit to get all these out. It would actually be so much easier if I took all these drawers out, but I couldn't really figure out how to take it out and I don't want to break it either, so we're just gonna do it this way. Now I'm giving everything just a clean wipe down. I'm using a microfiber cloth actually because it absorbs all of the soap and water. For me, it's easier and a little less wasteful than using a paper towel. These guys are gonna be done in the dishwasher in about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna work on purging. And since I know the perfect person to help me reorganize this, I'm gonna call my friend. This is my friend Alyssa. She has dreams of owning an organization business. So I thought who better to call than the expert. So what do I do? It looks like you kind of have everything categorized. That's a start. Yeah. <laughs> have you gone through expiration dates? 
And no. Do you know if everything's still good? I don't, but I made this one and it's probably about a month old that I probably should toss. Okay, well I guess we can just start there. Okay. And then that way we can wean stuff out. So the cap to this is broken in this. Is it dry? A little bit. <laughs> I'll dump it and then we'll recycle the bottles. Okay. We got mustard for summer grilling. Ew, this one's bubbling. I would say this goes. <laughs> yeah, this is April of 2022. I feel like I just bought this. <laughs> it's like stuck in there. What is this? Uh, it's basil. Oops. All right, so I have like some produce here. Usually they're just in like bags, but I've seen organization Pinterest things that they're all out of the bags. We can make them pretty in there. Those I feel like we could put in a drawer, like a cheese drawer, drawer. Okay. or like a container. Groceries are here. I ordered more stuff for you to organize. Okay. okay. Nate wanted sour cream. The kids love these yogurt pouches. Milk, obviously, an essential. Yes. I actually got these on sale. And then some power greens. Butter. Perfect. Cheese. Oh, and then for berries, they always wash berries in like this baking soda vinegar. Yeah. I think like for the berries, can we just put them all together? So I'm just gonna add some vinegar and water for the fruits first, and then we're gonna pour in some baking soda. But there was a lot of discussion about how like baking soda and vinegar kind of like neutralizes things so it doesn't really clean anything. But at the same time, I feel like the fizz kind of just like power washes everything. Yeah. I feel like it should be fine. I guess you just rinse it like this. I already look at the water. I feel like I should give it another final rinse. So everything is washed, the bins are back in. We okay. have Lazy Susans, and we also have these like organizers right here. I don't really know what to put in here. I was gonna say we could definitely put produce that, in there. And then I was thinking the berries could go into like clear containers. Yeah. I even have a container for the eggs. Oh, that's okay. cool. I live for gadgets. I think that's like the most challenging part right now is trying to figure out like what goes where. Like this is not gonna end well for me. So we started putting things back in according to their color. Oh my gosh, yeah. that looks like a supermarket. <laughs> and now you can stack. Ah, that's top. so true. Oh, cool. I actually love that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Maybe that meat in a drawer. Meat in a drawer. Yeah. Okay. And then I've also seen herbs preserved. Like they just take it out of the packaging with the stems in water as if it's like. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. I do know that this giant jug of kimchi I don't use because it's always in the back. I'm gonna put it right here so I can spin it around. Woo! That's so fun. Now comes the hardest part, which was trying to figure out where each of the bins go so that they made sense, but also color coordinated. It's taken me over two hours. I guess the key thing that I've learned to fridge organization is that everything must be contained in its own little thing. And I found this in my pantry and then I also have this, which I think because it's purple, I'm gonna keep it with the purple cabbages. And here's my slightly organized, it still kind of looks cluttered to me, but at least I could see everything. My favorite feature is actually the Lazy Susan right here. hope it lasts more than a week. I hope it could be maintained. Was it therapeutic for me to do this? Mm, I'd say it was kind of fun. It was definitely satisfying. I hope this video inspires you to at least give your fridge a wipe down. That was the much needed part and to find those vegetables left behind in the back of the fridge and help them out of their fridge doom. Let me know what you guys think of this and if it's a Pinterest worthy fridge. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Practice. Yeah. So it's a week later since I last did my fridge organization, and let's see what it looks like today. For the most part, it's pretty organized still with the exception of random fruits being put where they shouldn't be put, but that's a training for people. Um, but there's also a lot of leftovers that I did not plan on putting space for, but for the most part, I'd say it's still pretty organized.